Hello, Poké fans, past, present, and future. Welcome back to Agent 836 channel. And today we're going to discuss the main topic for the month of April. And I want to make sure you guys are aware because everything is going back up now. Pokemon market has finally started to curve up a little. You know, that means we're going to start going on a bull run. Hopefully, we can go on a bull run and, you know, start making more profits. So today we're going to discuss between Elite Trainer Box, or ETBs, as some may call it, or a uh, Booster Box. We're going to find out exactly if a Booster Box is a choice of preference or the Elite Trainer Box. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Agent 836 channel and before we get started if you guys can just subscribe and leave a thumbs up I am really 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 happy for all my viewers and followers you guys have supported me so much uh, we have finally broke the 25th or the quarter mark um, finally over 25 subscriber uh, we have been over thousands of views already you know you know I really appreciate you guys uh, for providing your support to me uh, this is going to help my channel grow so i can provide more knowledge to all the new poke fans out there like i said i'm here to provide knowledge so that our community can grow i want you guys to have as much fun as i did uh, collect the pokemon card it is a really expensive hobby so i want to make sure you guys are aware and make the best decision you know you guys can uh, you know, as my goal of this channel is to make sure you save as much money as you can and get the best bang for your hard-earned bucks. So today we're going to go over Elite Trainer Box compared to Booster Box and how they compare with each other and down the road. So why are people buying more Elite Trainer Boxes? Well, the first one is pretty easy and simple. Uh, booster Boxes are expensive. Uh, for example, an Evolving Skies booster box here is running between 150 to 170 Not a lot of us have those kind of money laying around, you know? And so let's say for 200 bucks you can get this after tax. Uh, for 200 bucks you can get a Elite Trainer box here. Probably two or three after tax. And how do they compare to each other? Well, let's take a look at the history of things, right? Let's go back in time. Let's go back and look at the previous series. Why, you know, make it hard for us? Let's just look at the previous series. Let's do some compare and contrast. So let's go here. Let me bring this up so you guys can see. So this is from the Sun and Moon era. As you can see, this is Sun and Moon Unified Mind Boost Box. It's roughly running between $399 to $425, around that $400 range. I would just keep this at $400 for, uh, to make it easier for our numbers. And this is the booster box. Let's look at the Elite Trainer Box. So this is the Unified Mind Elite Trainer Box version. And it's running at 285. So you're roughly, give or take, these are around 285 to 300 dollars. So we'll just keep it at 300 dollars. So an elite trainer box is less in value by 100 dollars compared to the booster box. However, the big difference here is, back in those days, you could have bought three elite trainer box for the price of one booster box so just imagine if we were to use the same percentage increase on these current product the elite trainer box and booster box for Evolve skies let's say if it was if the price or the value was to raise the same thing way as they did for unified mind which was a good set in that series as well but Evolving Sky is like pretty much like almost the best set in this series. So, if we were to use the same theory and same view, 
let's say this guy go up to 400 bucks we'll make it 450 in a few years in one or two years and these guys run to 300 bucks but you're able to buy three of these three elite trainer box for two hundred dollars so it's three times three you're up 900 bucks in like two years you're up 900 dollars and you only spent 200 so you're up 700 dollars for the elite trainer box well let's say you spent 200 on the Evolve skies you only have one so you spent 200 bucks on it and at a few years it's gonna be worth 450 to 500 so you make like 300 bucks back roughly 250 to 300 bucks back only compared to the elite trainer box which you're making about 800 to 900 bucks back so that's the only that's one of the reasons why uh, people are buying or getting into elite trainer box more compared to booster box another reason why people are getting into more of the elite trainer box is because if you look at the back here let's look at this here let's check this out guys so it comes with eight evolving skies booster pack but it has other collectible items like the sleeves the dices uh, the damage counter a booklet and the cover itself here is a design once you open this up you can actually turn the cover to like a pretty much like a uh, a cover or a pad for your car or for playing uh, the Pokemon trading card game itself The Elite Trainer Box is a collector's item versus a booster box, which just comes with, you know, 36 booster packs. That's about it. It doesn't have anything fancy. It doesn't have any sleeves. It doesn't have any coins. Nothing collectible for it. Just that it comes with more booster packs. That's it. However, you're still out of win if you were able to buy these booster boxes. When it was cheap or when it's at wholesale price for example fusion strikes they are really really cheap right now still they're so cheap that the pokemon center elite trainer box of fusion strikes is catching up it's creeping up right now um, they're running between 65 to 70 dollars for an elite trainer box pokemon center version now that's the blue fusion strike box not the purple one that's the blue one it's slowly catching up and in value with the booster box so at that point were you better off buying a booster box or the elite trainer box I leave that up to you let me know in the comments below at that point or at this point right now that we're in time our Phoenix Strikes booster box is almost the same value as the elite trainer box or the Pokemon Center version of it. Let me know in the comment below, guys. What do you guys think? Uh, should we purchase the booster box for Fusion Strikes or Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box? I honestly think at this point, since the price is fairly close to each other, it wouldn't matter. If you can get your hands on some Fusion Strikes for a wholesale price, it's still a good deal. If you can get your hands on a Elite Train Box, it's still a good deal as well. The prices are those are starting to go up like this. Our Pokemon economy is finally starting to move northward in this way. Which is good because that's indicating that it's going to be a bull market again. Hopefully it's going to be a bull market. Now some advantage of Elite Trainer Box is that there are some prints like the Shiny Faith. Champions Path. It only came out in collectors boxes like this or the Elite Trainer, Trainer box, like the EV Elite Trainer box that I have there. It only came out in the in that kind of uh, print run. It didn't came. It doesn't not have any booster box set. So that's one of the benefits of why people are collecting more Elite Trainer box because there's certain products that only came. 
through the elite trainer box it didn't come through a booster box but regardless at the end of the day if you invest now invest when it's cheap buy low sell high you're still going to make money uh, right now a lot of the shiny uh, v max charizard uh, the shiny fate v max charizard champions path charizard they're getting cheap. I'm actually looking to pick up a few PSA 10 of those for like 200 bucks. They're fairly cheap now. And I have a gut feeling it's going to go back up because it's only cheap because of the reprint of Shiny Fate. For some odd reason, people are correlating those with Champion's Path, which is not. It's two different sets. So. At the end of the day, you're still better off buying cheap, selling high. Doesn't matter what you use, it's just the elite trainer box are more affordable for most of us out there. And we're uh, newer collectors like myself, or, or coming back collectors like myself. Like uh, we, it's easier for us to buy this product. You know, we don't have extra money spending around. We don't have all the extra cash flow that other people have. You know, this is a hobby for us. This is more of a side thing. And it's a lot easier to buy a lead trainer box and hold versus a booster box. It's so expensive. And as you can see here, this is my elite trainer box set for Pokemon Celebration that I have. It's done the case. I have a case of those. A whole bunch of these right here. Collect this box. Collector's box are not too bad if you're able to get them at wholesale price as well or retail. Like I said, I bought all those Charizard at retail $19.99. They're going up already. Just make sure you guys do your homework at the end of the day. It's all about doing your homework, guys. It doesn't matter what you buy. It just matter about doing your homework, looking to a good set, buying good quality stuff. That's all that matters. I'm not going to get into battle style. I just don't think that's a uh, value that's going to go up anytime soon. So I'm not going to ever buy a battle style battle uh, booster box or lead trainer box. I just don't like this set itself. I do have a Chilling Rain booster box. I pretty much got it for the whole sell like I was telling you guys. Their lead trainer box had been going up too. So definitely look into those. Those have been... Running it up from previously, I checked at like at fifty dollars, fifty five. They're starting to pick up again, and the reason why, like I kept telling you guys, is because uh, Sword and Shield is the series is coming to an end. We have a new release of uh, Scarlet and Violet. It's coming out soon, and probably I don't know. I, I Pokemon tend to produce a lot of their new video games around November for Black Friday. In America, we have this crazy month in Black Friday, or November of call. Uh, there's a day in November of call Black Friday. It's when everything is on sale for pretty cheap. It's not really cheap at all, I, to be honest. It's just bad quality product that they're selling for like half off so that people can buy or get them off the shelf. That's it. And good stuff are still expensive. I have a gut feeling Pokemon is going to release it around November. So what does that mean for us? Well, it's already April today. We have seven more months. Uh, Astral Radiance, like I just kept telling you guys, I think that may be the last set in the series. What do we go from there? We might start doing stuff like Pokemon Go, or they may start releasing other stuff or other reprints. Astral Radiance printed out next month. Brilliant Star is going to finish the last reprint this month, so they're, they might start doing more like 10s. Or late trainer box in between up until November. I just have a gut feeling we might, if we get lucky, we may get one more set before the series is over. Let me know what you guys think. See if we're gonna get another re uh, reprint or are we gonna get another set. I honestly think we might just end with Astral Radiance. If not, one more set afterwards, and then everything from the Sword and Shell era is gonna be done. We're going to be moving to a different region, new starters, new legendaries. I don't know what it's going to be called, but new series for sure. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Take care. Have a nice day.